Hello viewers, welcome to our biology mini lecture. Where our, today's lecture is about the microscope, specifically on caring and handling of the microscope. My name is Davin Kemuto, a student of Aga Khan University. What are the objectives of this presentation? We are supposed to understand how to, to explain why it is important to care for the microscope. Number two, we are supposed to demonstrate how we should care and handle the microscope. A very important question to ask ourselves, why should we care for this microscope? Why should we handle them carefully? One, these microscopes normally they are expensive to buy, and number two, they are expensive to repair. And sometimes you may not get the, the specific part that has broken for the purpose of repairing. And then you're supposed to care for the microscope because you want to increase the efficiency. Efficiency means when you're observing a specimen on the microscope, there's that exact feature that you want to see. And then lastly, we care for the microscope so that we can extend the, the, the lifespan, the durability of this microscope. Want to, the, better, the, the better we take care of them, the better or the longer they will stay in our labs. So this is the diagram illustrating parts of the microscope and it's exactly what we are having here. And then how we handle the microscope and care now it's based on the parts of the microscope. The way we care for this handle, or the way we uh, care for the objective lenses is not the same. So what are these good practices? I'm calling them good practices because they're the ones that are, that's what we're going to do when you're handling this microscope. So the first thing, when you're handling the microscope, we're supposed to use both hands. So one hand will be at the base and the other one at the arm. So this is our arm and this is our base. So always when you're handling the microscope, it will be held like this. Whether you're taking it to the cupboard or you're taking it to the bench for use. And when you're placing on the bench, ensure that they are placed at the center of the bench, not at the edge of the bench because it can easily slide off the bench. And then you're supposed to uh, the revolving nose piece and the lowest power objective lenses. These are the objective power lenses. When you are using the microscope, you've used your microscope, you finished whatever you're observing. When you're turning it, don't turn the objective lenses anti-clockwise. Turn them clockwise like this until you hear a clicking sound. So you just know that you are, you've turned it clockwise or that's the correct position after hearing that clicking sound. Number two, after you finished observing your specimen, you have to look at the sizes or the lengths of these objective lenses. They are of different heights. So when you're going to store, you don't store your microscope when it is on this size of uh, the lens. You turn it again until that small lens, objective lens, is at that position. Why are you doing that? This is the stage, and you are going to store it. This space should be there so that now this objective lens does not hit this delicate part. And then number next, we're supposed to clean the microscope. We're supposed to use a smooth paper or a very soft cloth. A smooth paper or a soft cloth so that you don't cause abrasions on your lenses. If you cause the abrasions on your lenses and you're observing your specimen down there, then you may not clear. You may not clearly see what you're supposed to observe. And then which solution are we supposed to use? Don't use water. Or don't just use any solution. We have, for example, a solution that is called X, X hole solution, which is meant for cleaning of these lenses. And then you're supposed to disconnect. Now, when you're using the microscope, there are those microscopes that use light or they use electricity. So do not pull off the cable. You're supposed to switch off the cable, and then now you can work or stop working on the microscope. Always cover the microscope with a supplied dust-proof cover. This is an example of such a cover. You finished working with your microscope. You remember this part we said they're supposed to be dust-proof. So you take your cover and you cover your microscope like this. We've already said that you handle it carefully with both two hands and then you put it in your cupboard. Now the cupboard, if you look at the next bullet, that cupboard is supposed to be in a dry place. Number two, in case there are the place, some places it be that they are very moist or they are very humid. Does it mean that those people don't use the microscopes? They do use the microscopes. But what are we supposed to do? You're supposed to have those places, normally they have 
and a drying agent. We are having a dry agent which can absorb the moisture. So inside, like for example, when you buy the shoes, inside you get some stuff that has been put there to absorb the moisture. Because these places are supposed to be left dry because there are some parts that are metallic and you know that some, if there's some parts that are metallic, there's some water, maybe in a salt in places, then there's the rusting that will take place and so the movement of these parts will not be efficient. Then you're not supposed to touch optical lenses with bare hands. Bare hands, they have their weight. We are sweating. And if you touch these places again, I will insist these parts are very important when you're observing. It will determine what you're observing on your specimen. So don't use your hands. I mean, don't touch this part, not to, because hands you need to use the hands to manipulate this tool. But don't touch these specific parts with your hands. Just turn the parts because they are flexible. Down here they are flexible. And then you're supposed to store your microscope away from direct sun. Definitely where you have put your cardboard, it's away from the sun. And most of the time we have this cardboard stored or there's a section of the laboratory where they are stored. But in case you don't have the cardboard, normally the working table in the office, they have those smaller cardboards down there. So again, because down because of the dust, then now our our canvas becomes very important. So you take your microscope again with your two hands and put them in a dry place. Thank you for listening to me.